Hey guys, good morning and welcome to our video series where we are going to create now experience for our fictitious company, Pandatech. And I have uh, Milap with me who is going to help me while creating this now experience new portal throughout the series. Hey, welcome Milap. How are you? Hey, good, good. Akash, how are you doing? I'm fine, Milap. So why don't you quickly explain uh, uh, what is uh, now experience and then we'll start creating a new portal. So I would rather talk about the UI builder, right? Because we are, that's what we are focusing on. So uh, basically as part of Quebec release, uh, ServiceNow has released uh, this uh, designer called UI builder, where you, know, you can simply drag and drop components and building experiences. Uh, and it's a great tool uh, to build your portal experience. And out of the box, basically it comes with the portal experience and your workspace experience. And it's pretty handy. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited to talk more about that. Oh, great. So why don't we do one thing? Why don't we uh, create and uh, talk in the same time? Okay. Yeah, that's, so, that's, that would be awesome. Let's, let's start uh, creating the experience directly. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I have taken one Quebec instance, developer instance. I'm going on to the experiences. I'm going to create a new experience. And again, we are going to name it as Panatag because it's again our fictitious company. We are going to select the app shell UI. Malab, you want to say something about app shell UI? Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned earlier, ServiceNow out of the box has uh, two experiences uh, baked in, which has a, a basic things already, uh, you know, uh, configurable uh, things are already available for portal. Let's say you have header, footer, your navigation menus, navigation actions and stuff like that is already available. Same way for a workspace. If you have seen the agent workspace, it has a typical UI where in the left-hand side, you see all your of work items, uh, your live agent queue, and then on the right hand side uh, of the space where you you work uh, on your uh, incidents or interactions and stuff like that. Sim so all those uh, that shell UI will help us using that uh, UI as a default UI. So for headers and footers and all those things, it's it's very easy to configure, and we don't have to do a lot of rework. So, but but definitely we would have a more detailed series on. Uh, what the app shell UI is, but right now it is just reusable component for portal and workspace. Okay, great. So we are gonna have uh, another video on app shell UI, great. So let me do one thing. Let me quickly select the admin panel. So here, what I'll do is I'll create a new UI app configuration. I'll name it as Pond Attack. Here we can put the icon as well but right now I'm just leaving it here. Okay. And last but not least, we have to provide the auth route, which is nothing, it's a authorization public route. So, Mirab, so I believe that we are gonna have again a video on that. Yes, but in short, uh, whatever your public uh, routes are like login and log out and stuff, uh, you, you would like to, you would like to let the system know that where it should go to. So if somebody says, okay, slash log out where it should land to and when somebody says slash log in where it should land to so that's what it is you are basically your public uh uh all your public pages uh on your ui is what uh, auth routes means okay so we have filled with dummy data so uh, when we are going to create the pages we are going to create a login page and exactly uh, that's why we have put for login and logout as login and logout so everywhere in uh, UI builder in uh, wherever we are putting any configuration, most of the time it's JSON configuration. So I'm gonna go and save this one. So we have created this one. Now we are going to go into UI builder and it should show our new experience that we have just created. And while this is loading, uh, can you go back to the same screen where you were earlier? 
Perfect. Yeah. So here, uh, if you go back to the admin panel, there is another way how you can navigate through the UI builder. And uh, yeah, if, if you open that admin panel, you have the button here called open in UI builder. What okay. happens is it will directly take you to this particular experience. Uh, and if you are on this page, it will show you all your experiences, what you have created and you have to select it. But okay. whatever is the yeah. convenient way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is for uh, video one. In uh, second video, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create our very first page for the second video. Thank you. Thank you.